do y'all remember the days of when when you buy games it used to come with multiple discs especially on the playstation one and when you buy the final fantasy final fantasy had multiple discs uh legend dragoon had multiple discs i don't know man there's something about having games with multiple discs i don't know what it is but when a game has multiple discs it makes me feel like i'm making progress and it makes the game feel a lot bigger than it is even though it's just the same game just being split into parts i don't i don't know why i feel that way so i think i understand why multiple discs make me feel like i'm actually making progress so we can use legend dragoon as an example right so legend dragoon has multiple discs and each disc that's always a they always leave off on an epic moment so disc one for example right we finally reach Emperor Duel after like he kills so many people, he kidnapping bitches, burning down villages, he's just doing all sorts of this evil shit, like an evil villain do, right? So when we finally meet him and beat him in this epic fight, right? The fight is so fucking good, by the way. The fight is really good because the surprising thing about Emperor Duel is that he has the dragoon. And you don't know that shit because in the first phase he fighting in his regular form. But that second phase is a motherfucker. But that's besides the point. You find you finally beat him. And then he tells us the person we're looking for is in the next country. And well, what makes this scene so good is the music, man. Oh my god, bro. The music in this scene is so good. And then it just fades to black and says, insert this too, bro. Oh my god, bro. This I think this is why I feel like multiple discs makes you feel like you're making progress. Because you have scenes like this. And then it just ends. And the screen comes on and says, insert this too. And everything about Legend Dragoon. All the discs always leave off on an epic moment or a moment where it's like, oh, it's like, oh, damn, man, what's, what's going on with the next disc, bro? What's going on? It's like, it leave off on such a good note. And this too, I'm just, this video is about Legend Dragoon now, but Legend Dragoon, bro, this too for Legend Dragoon ends off on the, like, the best moment, bro. It's so fucking good. But that's besides the point, bro. You can't leave off on a cliffhanger when your entire game is on one disc. But when you have multiple discs like Final Fantasy and Legend of Dragoon, you can leave off on cliffhangers, you can leave off on a sad moment, you can leave off on a heart-wrenching moment, and you still have three other discs to see what happened next instead of waiting for three to five years for the sequel. Back on the PlayStation 1, you know, we didn't have achievements. We didn't have memory cards. I probably can say that with confidence. That most of our childhood we, we wasn't rocking memory cards like that so when we reach a new disc that was a damn achievement in itself because we were playing with no memory cards and we had to just play straight through and we turned that motherfucking game off that was it we gotta start back from the beginning multiple cds now are just a product of this time now we really don't have any use to have two discs now since most games are on blu-ray cds and blu-rays have so much storage nowadays so uh, yeah there's no more there's really no use for that just like pre-rendered backgrounds but um if you made it to the end of the video tell me um what kind of games do you have that have multiple discs like two or more i have a lot of my games like on the gamecube playstation 2 and playstation 1 a lot of them have multiple discs because a lot of them are rpgs Breathing kaito cell symphonia um on Musha, Dawn of Dreams, it was on two discs. Leave your comment below and let's talk about it. Until then though, I see you in our next video. Peace!